welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I'm currently riding the escalator up into Bed Bath & Beyond and then we're gonna head into Whole Foods and then who knows where this day of random shopping shall take us. I always just wanna buy like literally everything in Bed Bath & Beyond. I just wanna become like this crazy chef with all of the things in my kitchen. Also, for the record, I am wearing a new pair of light color jeans. Who am I? These are BDD jeans. I will link them down below, guys. I always wear the black ones, but I finally got myself a pair of like light color jeans and I'm kind of liking it, but I also don't recognize myself whenever I catch my reflection somewhere. Like, who am I? They literally fit everyone like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. BDD jeans are amazing. I love that when you're in New York and Bed Bath & Beyond, the little cutting boards are like for New York because in North Carolina, it's just a North Carolina one. I mean, I already have a wooden thing that's shaped like Long Island. The place that Sergio and I get weirdly dyslexic over. I'm against it. Mangaset. <laughs> Does this have where we are on here? No, it doesn't. We're over here somewhere. <laughs> Why are there so many cutting boards? And they're kind of copper. Is it a cheese board? Or is it just for somebody who really likes cutting small? Board. Small cutting boards. We just whip out three different cutting boards. Oh look, it's my like strawberry bowls that I use, but like a whole set. Oh, they're so pretty. Ooh, they have like a blacker marble version of them too. Oh, that's pretty. I love that my uh, marble nails match the aesthetic of these bowls. I just, I feel like I'm one of the bowls. Coffee, 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 coffee. Same. These frogs have birds in them. I don't get it. I think I'm gonna get this for Sergio's colognes in our bedroom because they're currently just sitting on the table and I think they'll look better on this and I think they'll match with our two night table lights. I don't know, I think I think this will be good. Yes, good solution. Not only do we have soap holders now and toothbrush holders and soap dispensers, we now have bathroom, phone, and ring holders. I don't like this world. My goodness, I kind of want to change my entire aesthetic to just kitties now because how cute are these things here and there's a towel that matches way up there i love cats i'm just allergic to cats and this soap holder i think it's a soap holder right the little boat it's kind of narrow for soap but i can't imagine anything else goes into it it's cute but this is like too far into the beach aesthetic even for me and so is that and that I weirdly really like this stuff. It's like a more masculine take on my love for copper. And I almost want to redo like the guest bathroom one that Sergio uses all the time with these pieces. I don't know, like it totally strays away from my like aesthetic of the rest of the house. But I think I could make it work, I don't know. It's kind of nice and masculine and I feel like he'd appreciate it. He doesn't complain about my beach aesthetic. Just one thing, he doesn't like my lamp, my driftwood lamp, but like these things, although I would never actually put soap in here. I don't know. I'm feeling this. This is pretty. Why do I want this pillow for my living room? It's so like weird, but I feel so attached to it. I almost got this plunger the last time I was in a Bed Bath & Beyond with Sergio, but it was too expensive. I think it's $19.99, but now it comes with a roll of adorable toilet paper and it's almost making me want to get it. For those of you who just can't leave the house without your bottle of wine, I think I'm gonna get these placemats because we have like these turquoise colored ones. I love them, but two of them are kind of ruined from daily use. And these look like they'd be easier to wipe down and they're kind of pretty and I think I like them. Ooh, I kind of like this for like my gallery wall, but also I'm not emotionally attached to any of these New York beaches. If they had one that had like Jones Beach and stuff on it too, hmm, maybe they do. We've got Halloween colored tortilla chips. You see these corn chips over here? They're black and orange. <laughs> I think I need this. <laughs> and it even looks like they just left a space where you could put a J for joy to the world. <laughs> and the salt and pepper shaker though? Oh my god. These bring me joy. I think I need them. <laughs> I've been thinking of getting one of these at every single home decor store that we go to and I think I finally want to get one. Do I want an orange one or do I want a white one? They light up white inside. <laughs> we have pumpkin spice. But it was opened. Is there one that isn't? There's this last one. But you're keto. I'll try one. I'll try a bite of one. <laughs> no one else likes pumpkin spice, Julie. <sighs> I'll take them home. <laughs> I need seven of these. They're so cute. I'm not home for the first week of the greatest month of the entire year. 
and if Sergio thinks that, that means that the house is not going to explode in pumpkins and fall decor, he is sorely mistaken. He is literally going to go to work the day after I get home, come home, and there's just going to be pumpkins in every single nook, cranny, corner, everywhere you look. Just explosion of fall decor. I'm so excited. So we're in Whole Foods, and I may or may not have a problem. I just haven't been able to find the milk chocolate version. I'm like holding these upside down. Uh, I've only been able to find the dark chocolate version of Lily's chocolate places, so I'm gonna stock up on these because they're like double the price online. I feel like a little kid who lost their mom in the supermarket who I found ice cream. No. I can't even see any of the ice cream. Mom. Mom. She definitely can't hear me if I'm talking this quiet. Where did you leave other stuff? It's so crowded in here. It's like a Tuesday at like 4 p.m. or something. So on the produce. No way. I mean seriously though, like I completely lost my mom. I feel like a little child who lost her mom in the supermarket. <laughs> what the heck? She is. Okay. I feel like I've talked about these before, guys, but cotton candy grapes are the most amazing thing to exist in the face of the planet. Yay, more home decor. Look at this beautiful marble table. Ooh, look at the cute pumpkins. Oh, I have a little orange one like this. I need to go get it out of the garage when I get home. These little leaf plates are really cute too. They have a black marble serving board. Why don't they have a white marble serving board? They're always white marble lazy Susans. I just want a circular slab of marble. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are these? Pumpkin place card holder. Oh, well, they're adorable. But like, am I ever gonna have place cards on my own dining table? Like, mom say it's here, dad say it's here. This is like a marble printed cutting board. It's so weird because it's not marble though. It's like disorienting. Granted, I just bought placemats that are definitely not marble. That look like marble. But this one, oh hey, you guys can see me, hey. This one matches my aesthetic though. Hmm, and do I really need another cutting board? These different colored bowls. Hmm. It's the longest spoons I ever did see. Why are they so long? But like, what are you stirring that long? In the picture. How dedicated to the Halloween spooky aesthetic can you be to get these creepy, really nice spiderweb plates? Sure, but I'm a millionaire. I'm gonna buy plates just for Halloween. Yep. And little cauldrons. You can eat like your soup. You can eat your chicken pot pie out of a cauldron. You will be mine. Yes. I wish my counters were white marble. <laughs> All right, we have found the heaviest marble slab on the face of the planet, or it's just like stuck. But it's actually like, it's kind of an ugly marble, and now I'm getting picky. And look, more Lazy Susans. I don't like the passage. It's very so dark. Oh God, it's really heavy. Ow. This is like the weirdest color. I just asked my mom to describe it because I can't think of a descriptive word. We're like, maybe taupe? It almost looks a little bit different on camera. It's like, it got like some warm reddishness over here, some orange, some cool gray. There's like a greenish tint. It's like, what are you? So interesting. So we're at Sur la table? Sur la table. We're gonna say Sur la table just so that nobody can get offended by me saying it wrong because I'm very obviously saying it wrong. Sur la table. Point is, how cute is this? I want this plate. It's so cute. <laughs> and little acorns and leaves. Oh, so cute. I just saw these wavy dishes in like two other stores. They're like really, really cute. I guess these are actually meant for little pies. The last one's just like regular bowls that were wavy. Tomato plate to go with my pumpkin plate. <laughs> Yay, coffee. That's so cute. <laughs> and then over here, Merlot, you did it. <laughs> Let's get Monday, go straight to fun day. Oh, this is a cute watermelon slice. It's like light pink. And chicken front, you got chicken side, more chicken side, and then you got chicken butt. <laughs> My mom was gasping about cows, but she's actually gasping about pumpkins. 
Because that looks like the one that we saw at Home Goods and stuff. It's like the same kind of print. Yeah, because it was all like wavy and stuff. I'm seeing that everywhere. Is everything, including sweaters yesterday, like no, everything is scalloped? Like so, if I still have time in the week that I'm still here for, we might try to put on some wedding dresses on me. This won't be in the vlog if we don't end up doing it, <laughs> but I might try on wedding dresses. Don't get your guys' like hopes up and get excited for a wedding yet because very beginning, early stages of trying to possibly plan at least something about a wedding that's gonna happen at some point. Would like to at least know what kind of dresses that I like on me, so we might do that. So if we're doing that, I'm obviously leaving this clip in here and you guys can get excited for a vlog of me trying on wedding dresses. Let me know what you guys want to see in like a wedding planning series, cause I could do that. But I don't even have like an idea of a date yet and it's very hard to figure any of this out with the army, which is why we didn't do it in the first place when we first got married. But I still want to have like a wedding wedding. So like, you gotta plan. I love planning, but it's a big thing to plan. And like it's so weird looking at venues like some places already booked out for 2019 and it's you like it's 2018. You want. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at like a very vague idea of like wedding venues either in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, North Carolina. What what? Vague yeah. idea? Yeah. <laughs> like cuz North Carolina even if we end up moving because of the army, we would still be like it's like all of his friends would still be there and it's close enough to New York people from New York could like go there but if we do it in New York all the North Carolina people probably won't be able to get leave to come to a wedding in New York so just <laughs> try to get an idea and like see what kind of venues I like and I guess I should see what kind of dresses I like too oh god this car is so high up maybe or the chicken already it's only been like 10 minutes of looking in other stores but yeah, wedding planning could be a series on my channel. All right, I have not filmed any sort of a workout on this channel in quite some time. I literally can't even remember when the last time I like filmed a workout was. And today's workout is actually going to be a first for me. I have never done this before. I'm a little bit nervous. I am going to a Muay Thai class with my brother. We always said that we were gonna take Muay Thai classes together for like ages so long ago and like we just never got around to it. And then pretty much like the second that I moved, he picked up Muay Thai and he loves it. And I'm nervous. I hate change, I hate doing new things. I know that like you gotta do new things to like progress in life and you gotta like challenge yourself. So here I am, really nervous that I'm gonna suck at this because I just, I feel like I'm not good at kicking. I don't know, like I'm nervous. And thankfully I'm gonna be taking the class with my brother who has been doing it for a while and hopefully they let him like partner up with me. I'm pretty sure that he's gonna tell them like, yo, that's my sister. She's here to like try this out with me and hopefully I don't have to like to do this with other people who are better than me like I get so nervous about doing new things when it comes to like fitness and, and things in general I don't know why like the gym was just it wasn't so nerve-wracking I think because of like the whole like class environment and like other people like engaging with you that's the scary part like at the gym no one cares what you're doing they're all there to get their own workout on so I guess this is like the kind of like gym intimidation feeling people get when they're afraid to go to the gym for the first time. So if this is how you're feeling, you just gotta do it. And I promise you the gym is not that scary. So I should be like telling myself that like, if I think the gym is not that scary, this Muay Thai class is not gonna be that scary. I just have an excuse to punch and kick my brother for like an hour straight. That's like every sibling's dream. So I'm gonna get out of the car. I'm gonna go to the class. I'm gonna try to record myself failing. Don't make fun of me. I've literally never done this before and it's probably not gonna be good. So don't take any form advice from watching the following clips. This is literally my first time doing this. I don't even know what to expect. Oh, and then I'm probably gonna go to the gym afterwards and like get a little bit more of a workout in. I don't know. That's straight punch, opposite inside of the face. So as the 
this comes back, you're going to pivot up your rear leg and show that cross, uh, rear cross punch back to your face. And what we just did right now, right? The knee leg push it, we're going to bring that knee leg up, push it down. As it comes out, I'm going to step in the ronda. Okay? So when you throw the ronda here, you're going to pivot. Notice my heel is off the ground. Same thing as you were doing the push kick. You're going to bring that leg up, turn that hip over as you extend the leg. And when you're kicking, it's with our shins, not with our foot. clip after trying Muay Thai yesterday so my thoughts on Muay Thai uh it's all right not my preferred method of working out it was fun to try something new especially with my brother I told him to take it a little bit easy on me but he did land a few good I've been a little brother for 20 years punches and kicks <laughs> I like instantly got a bruise on my forearms so you know what? I deserve it. That's what you get for being a mean older sister. I asked him what it was like to get to take out 20 years of frustration and he was like, it was fun. It was fun beating you up. So, you know, I probably would have done the same. Highly recommend stepping out of your comfort zone once I got in. It wasn't that bad. I know that I was not that great, but it was fun to try something new and it's really not as scary as I was making it out to be in my head. Like I just kind of walked in and they were like, all right, come on in, do the thing. You're one of us now. So I don't know why I was so stressed. I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here though and I'm actually about to start a, another vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. In the comment section down below, let me know when the last time you tried something new was. For me, it was yesterday. I tried Muay Thai and I live to tell the tale. I've just got one sibling bruise on my arm. I would love to hear up you guys across all of my social media platforms. Links to them are always in the description box down below. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. Sorry, I'm watching a student driver. You totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.